Traumatic brain injury is an acquired change in brain function that is either due to a direct blow to the head or an acceleration deceleration event that results in the brain moving within the skull. Causes of traumatic brain injury can be related to motor vehicle collisions, assaults, falls, child abuse or neglect. The brain itself is divided into uh, multiple different areas, frontal lobes, temporal, parietal, occipital, as well as cerebellum, which is important in terms of balance, and brainstem, which controls vital function, such as heart rate, respiration, and sleep. Physical changes occurring in traumatic brain injury include headache, dizziness, light and sound sensitivity, changes in sensory integration, in terms of auditory processing, in terms of visual analysis, in terms of balance. These types of changes generally result from things being lopsided, being asymmetric. One side of the brain is injured, the other side is not, and so that loss of symmetry your front end being out of alignment, as it were, is something that affects your functioning in more complicated situations. Long-term symptoms of traumatic brain injury can run the gamut of psychiatric disorders. Depression is extremely common following traumatic brain injury. Anxiety disorders may also be seen following traumatic brain injury, but reflect changes in the brain's processing of sensory information the three fundamental cognitive changes seen in traumatic brain injury relate to problems with attention and concentration, working memory, and a slowed speed of information processing. Difficulties with attention and concentration result in increased distractibility. Individuals have difficulty locking on to a target. Everything has the same meaning or the same attention level so that they appear distractible, unable to stay focused on things. This is critical because attention and concentration is the first step in remembering something. If you don't lock onto a target, you can't remember it. Perhaps the most misunderstood aspect of traumatic brain injury relates to behavioral changes. Since frontal lobes are the most often damaged region of the brain, and since our frontal lobes is where our behavioral coping strategies live, oftentimes, damage to frontal lobes results in behavioral change. Frontal lobes develop over the course of the first 25 years of our life. The difference in the level of supervision and guidance we have to provide a five-year-old versus a 15-year-old relates completely to the fact that their frontal lobes are less developed at five than 15. Frontal lobes are also where generally our coping strategies exist, how we deal with stress, how we deal with disappointment, how we deal with anxiety. In a situation where frontal lobe damage occurs in traumatic brain injury, individuals may appear more rigid in terms of their personal uh, behavior. They have less flexibility. If plan A doesn't work, they have more difficulty coming up with plan B and so on. When our frontal lobes are working well, it's as if we're on a lake and we can go many different directions and navigate. When they don't work well due to an event like traumatic brain injury, it's more like being on a railroad track. So you can go forward, you can go backward, you can stand still, but you really can't change the direction of what it is you're trying to do. This results in individuals appearing to be very aggressive and very persistent and deliberate in doing the same thing over and over again even though it is not effective at resolving whatever the interaction is. Frontal lobes are also the part of our brain that allow us to be compassionate, allow us to take a step outside of ourselves and think about the other person. It allows us to have insight in terms of our own behavior and to recognize when we're doing something incorrectly. Individuals may become more self-centered. They may become more impulsive in terms of, of pleasure seeking. They may have more difficulty in terms of relating to others or appreciating what the needs of others may be. All things considered, traumatic brain injuries can have varying effects, cognitive, behavioral, physical, emotional, that can have lasting effects in the function of the person for the rest of his life.